D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And welcome to my Week in Review, where I come to you every Sunday with three entertainment stories that I personally find interesting, and then we discuss them down below. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this story, and you can uh, read those and come up with your own opinion or whatnot, or you can just watch this video and, you know, decide for yourself and everything. I just break it all down for you so you don't have to read these articles and everything. Um, also, before I get started, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine usually get pushed to the back of the line. So I please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. So why don't we go ahead and get started on this video? Okay, so for my first story this week, it looks like Patty Jenkins is no longer directing the Cleopatra movie for Paramount. Um, now, uh, Cleopatra Cleopatra is still being made and everything, and it's still being, uh, it's still going to star Gal Gadot, um, which I think is a, is a really good option. I love Gal Gadot. Um, I, I know some people don't like her. But they say she's a Zionist, everything. I just think it's a lot of Jew hating, but you know, what are you going to do? You can't help anti-Semites um, and everything, but whatever. Um, but the new director is Carrie Scoglin. Now, if you don't know who that is, she recently directed Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the Disney Plus show for Disney and Marvel, um, which I personally, mm, I really didn't like the show now that I've had a time to di digest it and everything. But at the same time, I do think she did a good job directing wise. The action sequences, in my opinion, were very good. So I think that, that she has that going for her. Now, I know there is some controversy, like I said before, with Gal Gadot, but I still think that uh, she's still a good option. And I do think that, uh, you know, I think she'll do a good job as Cleopatra. Now, the writer for this uh, movie, um, it, her name is uh, Lita uh, Calogredis. I think that's how you say it. If not, whatever, I don't care. Uh, but uh, that is her name. Um, and she has written uh, uh, scripts for Terminator Genesis, uh, Shutter Island, and Alita Battle Angel. Now, I did like Alita Battle Angel, but the other two, oh, oof, those were rough and everything. But... Um, I think that this uh, will be an interesting movie to watch for. I think it's got a lot of grandeur that I think that Patty Jenkins would have been really good uh, with. Um, just because, uh, you know, I would put this movie on the same level as the movie Alexander, which I believe that this writer, Lita uh, Kaladotis, also wrote. Um, but I do think that that it, it's got the same level as, as the Alexander movie. Um, so I think that, I think it'll make as much money as that movie made, which is probably not that much because uh, I didn't see it in the theater. I only watched it when it came out on DVD. And then even then I was like, eh, that was all right. It wasn't that great, but whatever. So, but it'll be, it'll be interesting to see, you know? Uh, yeah. So there's that. And that is my first story of the week. So for my second story of the week, uh, Dustin Daniel Cretton has signed a huge deal uh, this week with Disney. Now, if you don't know who that uh, Daniel, uh, Dustin Daniel Cretton is, he is the director and writer of uh, Shang-Chi, uh, Shang-Chi, sorry, I didn't mean to, to say that, but he also um, did uh, American Born, which is also for uh, uh, Disney Plus, uh, that's going straight to Disney Plus uh, and everything, so he's got his own show there. Now, he will be not only directing and writing Shang-Chi 2, but he is developing a Disney plus Marvel TV show. And a lot of people are saying like, it could be um, Zhang Li um, of the, the, and the 10 rings, her and, and what goes on with the 10 rings, which I think that's a good idea. If he wants to stick with the Shang-Chi situation, I think that uh, that's really interesting. Um, also, I think that he could do, I mean, hammer uh, or uh, yeah. Hammer fist, the guy uh, or, Hammerfist, I think that was his name, the guy with the, that had the blade for the hand. Um, you know, he's a part of the Ten Rings, and you have that uh, uh, that whole thing. And then you've got, uh, you could have um, Michelle Yeoh's character and what goes on with uh, that little village. I can't remember the name of the little village. I only saw Shang-Chi once, so I, I don't remember all of it. But uh, that little village, you could do that. But I think something that would be very interesting, um, because this will obviously further down the line and everything, is they're planning on bringing the mutants and the X-Men into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or at least I'm, I've heard they have, and I'm pretty sure they are. But I think Sunfire would also be a fun um, uh, 
character that he could bring to the small screen and then hopefully eventually the big screen. Um, and he this this character has been male in the comic books, but also female. They've, they've uh, gender bended. So he could pick one and the gender bent one is also lesbian. So he could do either one of those or both. I don't know, especially now that they're doing the multiverse in the MCU. They could totally switch it up a little bit and do their own thing. And I think it I think it would be very interesting. Also on something interesting in this deal is he is also going to be working with Hulu's Onyx uh, division. And that focuses on people of color on and behind the camera. So he's going to be working with them. And I think that that's always good. You know, um, I know a lot of people say like hire the best person for the job. And I do agree with that 100 percent. I say hire the best person for the job. But I also go, you got to give, you know, every race, you know, every, you know, whatever, uh, a chance to see if they are the best one. I mean, if you don't, you know, if you don't see everybody, then you might not get the best one. You might just get what you think is the best one. So I think it's, it's good to give everybody a chance and then see where you go from there. So that is my second story of the week. And for my third and final story of the week, it looks like Firefly is getting a reboot. Now, if you don't know uh, what Firefly is, it, it aired in 2002. Um, and it's kind of like a space Western adventure. And it follows the crew of the Serenity and Captain uh, 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 Reynolds. And um, it, it all, it's, it's really, it's not only is it famous for being really, really good. It's also famous for being a TV show that only lasted one uh, season. It only lasted uh, 13 episodes and not even all 13 episodes were aired, which is a super huge bummer because uh, if you ever watch that show, it's, it's so good. It's ridiculously good. Um, I love it. I still watch the show every now and then I'll plop it in, watch all 13 episodes in one weekend or a day or whatever, whatever I have time for. And then I'll watch the movie, which it did get uh, in the early 2000s, which I actually liked the movie. They did a couple of things that I didn't like. They, they killed off. Uh, uh, oh, what's his face? The pilot. I can't remember off the top of my head. They killed him off. I didn't like that. Spoiler alert if you don't know. Now. There's no news if Joss Whedon will come back for this, but it's most likely that he won't because he's problematic. You know, he, uh, you know, if you uh, read up on him, he obviously was not nice to his ex-wife um, and he did not have uh, he did not do good things on the set of Justice League. It sounded like he was not very nice to Ray Fisher and, uh, you know, and he called him out for it and the other people involved. And it just sounds like when it comes to to working with him, like he may be talented writing wise. Wise, but it come when it comes to working with him in person, it can be kind of a task because he can be uh, kind of a douche and everything. And uh, that's a that's a huge bummer because I do like Joss Whedon's work. But when you're on when you're on the job, you can't be you can't be mean to people like that. Like, you know, you got to you got to stay professional and stuff. And it sounds like he wasn't staying professional. He also um, uh, rumored is uh, the reboot that, well, oh, oh gosh, what this needs is it needs to have the original cast come back. And I'm going to talk about a little bit more of that in just one second, but uh, in different ways that they can do that. But uh, I know that Joss Whedon, when he, he said that if they ever brought this show back, and this was back when he was in Everybody's Good Graces, that if they ever brought it back, they can't do uh, they can't do the movie. The movie has to be scrapped because he, he wants to do other things and he, he doesn't want to kill Wash, uh, the, the pilot and everything. So that's, I think, would be an interesting uh, take on that. Um, plus, I, I do agree with that because the movie, even though it was good, it's like, you know, I don't uh, I didn't agree with killing off uh, Wash and and uh, Book. They killed off Book. So there's that. But they need to bring back the original uh, the original uh, uh, crew. Now, one way they could do this, because I know a lot of them have aged up and I know that might be a problem for some people, but you could do an animated series. You know, you get the voices of the original cast in there and then you don't have to. In fact, I saw and I'll put it up right now, but I saw a, a little mini teaser trailer um, for this and I thought it looked fantastic. I was like, oh, this is so great. And this came out like years and years ago. And I was like, this is fantastic. They should do it like this. And I don't know if it would be cheaper to do an animated show 
or not, I probably it probably wouldn't be. But I do think that that would be an uh, um, a pretty great option to do that. Now, one rumor of this was that they were going to reboot Firefly and it will have a new story. Now, I just want to say about this. Um, the only thing that uh, the, that uh, Firefly, the Firefly reboot, if, if they do this, we'll have in common is the Firefly is the name Firefly. I, I just I think that they'll take Captain uh, Reynolds and making Captain Mallory Reynolds and a strong, capable female woman takes her tag team of uh, pronouns and self-affirming adventures aboard the intersectional class ship Firefly. Um and I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the story that was told before. And I'm not interested in anything. I'm not interested in a new crew. I'm not interested in a new ship. I'm not interested in a spinoff. I want the real, the, I'm not interested in new actors. I want none of that. I want the original actors. I want the original story. And that's what I want personally, or I'm not just, I'm just not going to watch it. Like they're going to make it no matter what, but I'm not going to watch it. If they do that crap, I'm not going to watch it. Uh, Cause I'm not interested in that. Uh, yeah. All right. Go. So those are my three stories of the week. Tell me, what do you guys think about this? How do you feel about Patty Jenkins no longer doing Cleopatra and she's going to move over and just focus on doing Wonder Woman three and Wogue Squadron, which I think is, uh, you know, good because at the same time she did the Rogue Squadron, um, that little trailer where she talked about how her dad was a pilot and she wanted to give the perspective of a pilot. And it would be just really embarrassing for her that she did that. And then she had to like bail because she had like, and then I did a, a video about how it got canceled. You can check that out up here in the iCard section, but you know, it's just, it would have been embarrassing. And plus I understand that she wants to do wonder woman three, but I mean, after wonder woman, 1984, I mean, is she really the best option for wonder woman three? Because there was a lot of other people working on wonder woman one, one that I think made it so great. I don't know if Patty Jenkins is the best option for Wonder Woman 3, unless she gets a lot of notes and they have somebody else come in there and write with her because I just think that, uh, yeah, she just, she can't have car blanche in, in number three. And tell me, how do you feel about uh, Dustin Daniel Craig, uh, Cretton getting uh, getting a uh, this new deal, this 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 huge deal over at Disney, um, you know, with doing Shang-Chi 2 and then doing this Disney Plus show for Marvel and then also working with Hulu Onyx Collective, um, you know, that division and everything. Um, do you think I mean, do you like Dustin Daniel Cretton? I haven't. This is Shang-Chi was the only thing I saw. And I thought he did a good job as a, a, a director. I didn't like everything in the movie. And um, a lot of my criticisms of that movie are with with tropes that marvel does that they constantly do that i've just had enough of but as far as dustin daniel cretton goes i do think that he's a competent uh director i do think he's talented and i'm interested in seeing what he does you know i i i especially if he does a a zhang li um uh or uh, uh, Disney Plus show, sorry. Uh, if he does that show, I'm interested to see what he does. I like, I think I like the boots on the ground, kind of smaller, no, no superpower kind of uh, characters in the MCU when it comes to the TV shows over the superpowered people. And then finally, how do you feel about this Firefly reboot? Are you interested in this? Are you not interested in this? Are you, do you, are you like me and you think they're going to make it this, you know, this, this, all female crew of strong independent women that talk about their trauma and feelings um on you know the 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 whatever i don't know what the name of the ship would be now um or do you think you know they they'll do the the, the original crew with the original cast you know maybe bring in Joss Whedon they're not going to bring in Joss Whedon but maybe they will who knows i don't know but tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit the like button. You know I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next uh, Week in Review. You guys have a good week. Bye. Hey, nerds. If you like this video, go ahead and click that Geek What icon and subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and join me every Sunday with my Week in Review.